What's up, everybody? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today we are actually up here in a community called Sky Terrace. Uh, the builder is actually Blue Heron. And uh, we are actually in the city of Henderson. So this property, the asking price starts off at $2,190,000. It was actually built in 2018. And the square footage on here is 5,579 square feet. Features a five bedroom loft and a total of five toilets. This is a gated community. It does have a, a guard shack too as well. However, it is, there's no guard, but it is gated. I do love the architectural design by Blue Heron. Maybe a little bit dark here. But the side, well actually the front front entryway is actually on this side. Now, one thing I noticed the entryway here has all the gas and electric panels. I would have preferred to have this on the other side so that way it's not an eyesore. Right here is your sensor for your coach lights. We have your irrigation system cable. Here's your gas. Here is your valve for your sprinkler system. So today we, we are gonna take a look and see uh, the owner of this property. What type of upgrades did they actually do? The thing about this is when you buy a home like this, you really have to really spend the money on certain things as far as design. So this is this one big open courtyard. I've seen a, a lot of people, they'll do a lot of water features and stuff like that to this uh, area, which is really nice and it actually has a cover patio. But the good news is that this home is already built, ready to go. And it kind of gives you a clean slate, so that way you can design it to the way that you want. So if we take a look here, you can actually open that up. You can turn that into a bedroom as well and open this up. But I would definitely put some sort of cover over this and have this to be a part of your house. Because that's the style right now is bringing the outdoors in. So as we enter the property, we actually have... Uh, 12 by 24 porcelain tile. We have grout lines at uh, 3 16 white grout. I don't think it has been sealed. Look how gorgeous this kitchen is. I do love the uh, pop downs. Love the kitchen here. Love how there's actually two islands. This is a 3 inch um, quartz, which is really nice. I don't know if you guys can see that there, the sparkle. Here is a stainless steel undermounted sink. You know, they upgraded these cabinets. These are uh, MC dovetails, you could just tell, with a undermount slide. Nice cabinet tree. Soft closing. This is actually solid wood here. You also have a KitchenAid built-in refrigerator, which is nice. Keeps it streamlined. Love the color of this wood here as well. Right here you actually have your pantry. These are solid doors, eight foot doors. We actually have nine foot ceilings in the kitchen and until we actually go in the living room. Love that. Now, for this drop down, what I would have done was put some lights here, right, LEDs, and probably put some um, fixtures there. Love the fact that we actually have 
a double oven, double stack, which is really nice. You have your built-in microwave. Also, you have your pot drawers, which is really nice. There's actually two types of pot drawers. Uh, I like these better. Let me know in the comments below. So uh, this is one pot drawer that you can do, or you can actually have front cabinets like this, right? You wouldn't have this here and it slides out. Let me know what you prefer to have. One that slides out on a double drawer or a pot drawer. Love the cooktop, nice burner. As you can see, everything's all brand new here. Now, let's take a look. Look at this slider here. Look how huge that slider is. It just opens everything up. Let me see if I can open this up for you guys here, show you how it's done. Slides really well, nice and smooth. Oh, this thing flies. Love it. True pocket door, look at that. Now these tracks definitely have to be clean. And you can't just WD-40 these tracks. There's a certain type of silicone that actually needs to be done on these tracks. But I mean, take a look at how this home is actually designed where you just have this nice open where you bring the outside in. You have a slider here. Those are not pocket doors. And also check this out. You'll open this up too. That's why a lot of people will actually build all this out right here. You got that nice loft area. You guys can see it right there. These railings are actually upgraded. Uh, for the options, they, they do actually have a few options with uh, Blue Heron. Oh, look at this um, coffered ceiling, that's nice. I would have definitely put LED lights in there for sure. But uh, that's to me, it's more modern, that railing. Uh, what we actually have here is view fencing. Now, the backyard is not done yet, okay? I would definitely uh, put a pool here, for sure. The lot size here is an average of about 7,814 on this one. You got a beautiful balcony. Okay, you also have a staircase right there, too, as well. So this kind of really gives you a clean slate for what you can do. So we actually have four Linux AC units, okay. So let's go back inside the house here. But man, look how beautiful this open floor plan is. The uh, fireplace here, I definitely would not have put that fireplace. Um, I would have probably put a 72 inch fireplace on this. But that's just personal preference. When it comes to designing a home, especially uh, at this price point, you better make sure you put the money where it needs to be. So we actually have a nice floating cabinet. They didn't really do any type of upgrades to this. We have a toilet. Let's see here. We have your AC unit, your furnace, or your air handler. This should just be a coat closet, okay. So the uh, texture on here is actually a orange peel. This, this orange peel right here is actually a little bit harder to do than the standards. Uh, that means the walls gotta be completely straight. Love the straight edge cornerings. Now we actually have another 
storage underneath the staircase. Okay. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now this one, you can tell the, um, when it comes to high and low voltage, they were very selective as far as what they put in here. Um, that is just a standard digital thermostat. It's a still good thermostat. Also for an example like this part right here where you walk in, I've seen a lot of homeowners would actually put lights, right? Because they would hang something like, like a beautiful picture of landscaping. Love the uh, drop ceiling here. This is a decent size room. I guess you would just make this into your like your media room or something. Movie room, that'd be kind of cool. And that's what it looks like it's actually set up for because you actually have your J box here, right? And your power, and it looks like it would just go right there. That's what this would have been, a movie room. This should just be some extra storage here. Okay, so basically this is where you house all your electrical components. Also, because this is a modern home, there's no casings around the door. It's an eight foot door here, nine foot ceilings. I mean, look how beautiful this would be if you opened all this up and you had a beautiful water feature here, a lounge, fire pit, and you also had a cover awning or something. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Now you have the option to do that here and finish finish off. Here's the um, laundry room. Love the fact that there is an undermounted sink. Also, you have a gas fireplace. I'm sorry, a gas um, dryer. Here's just some extra storage here, which is kind of cool. And you still have like ample space for like storage and also to fold your clothes. Here's the alarm here. Coming into the garage. Now this is a three car garage, okay? And this upgrade right here, I believe with this builder, I think it's about $16,000 just for this garage door. What, what we have right here is your main valve to the house for the water. This valve right here would actually control the pressure of the water. Normally it's about 40 PSI. Make sure to get with a plumber. Uh, right here is your access for your sprinkler system. You have the tankless water heater. A lot of people have the uh, misconception that the hot water heater, it's instant, it's not. What a tankless water heater does is when you have hot water, you can run for an hour and you will always have hot water. One thing that I would have done with this garage or when I buy this home, I would actually epoxy this thing just to make it look beautiful. Now, what you see up here, sometimes you'll have that. That could be an access for plumbing. Power box there. I love the handles here. These are actually the standard handles that come with this builder. The brush handle. Now, this could be an office, a master bedroom. I mean, look at this. You have all this opened up here. Look at that, it's gorgeous, huh? Now this, this is a, the flooring is actually carpet and the padding is pretty good. So we actually have a bathroom, a three quarter bath. You got tile all the way up. Here's your closet. 
So this would be more of a, a junior suite, I would say. Water closet and your floating vanity. Now what I like about this one, well one thing I want to mention, did you know it's really dark in here, right? And there's no can lighting. So they didn't upgrade to do the can lighting. Lighting is so important, okay? I always tell my clients that all the time, especially when you have a home uh, at this price point, doesn't mean you can't do it, but it will cost you more money. Now what I like about this is, right here is actually a pocket door. How do you open your pocket door? I mean, how do you get to it? You just click that, just like that. You see what I just did right there? Click it, you pull this, and it shuts all the way across. However, there's not a latch over there to latch up. Now, this is actually a cool concept because this could be a junior suite, in-law suite, right? You come in here, here is your third, car garage. Isn't that cool? I guess you could put a smart car in here or whatever you want. A little tiny car. Here is your sprinkler system. Now, if you're interested in this property, earnest money deposit which is EMD, is $20,000. Now your HOA fees are $150 a month, which is not bad whatsoever. All right, let's go upstairs here. Love the railing. Here's your loft area. We have nine foot ceilings. Also the uh, baseboards here are six foot, I mean uh, six inch baseboards, six foot, oh my gosh. So this just looks like a storage room. Another storage. Now this model is actually called the Jade model. So on this side, we have nothing but a bunch of rooms away from the master, which is really nice. So this actually has a slider here to a balcony. There's another room right there too as well. Love the Scottsdale lighting. I love the, uh, I think this is concrete actually. Yeah, it's concrete. Kind of give you an idea what the roof line looks like here. Over there is Axis, uh, Pulte. I'm sorry, uh, Pardee. I do like them as a builder. One thing I do want to mention that um, if you are purchasing a home, I would highly recommend that you come by during the day and also at the night so that way you have an idea of how the neighborhood is. So we have a walk-in closet. It's probably eight by three. Also, did you notice there is no can lighting? There's only a J box for the ceiling fan. So this one has a bathroom. 
tub shower combo. Nice fixtures, okay, it's decent. Here's your toilet. Floating vanity. But look at this, you notice there's two doors, right? So if you have this room, it kind of sucks because now this room that gets this bathroom shares it with this room. But this is one of the bigger rooms. Now again, if you take a look, there's no can lighting. Just a J box for the ceiling fan. However, this is kind of cool. You also can open this up, right? Take a look at that. Again, if you had that water feature, you did something over here, it'll look real nice. This is a decent sized room. Closet is very long. Look at that. You also got your return line right up here as well for your AC. We have some storage space here. Oh, I was wrong. The AC. <laughs> Here's another bedroom. Now we walked out here, so we're not gonna go out there. This one's nice because it actually has its own private bath. Closet. Pretty decent sized closet here. Just gonna take you guys to the best part. The best part. I love that window though right there. I mean, I mean just look at the view right here. Look at the mountains. Can you I don't know if you guys can see this, but just this alone right here is just it's beautiful. The electricity bill, if you guys want to know exactly how much is it to run electricity on a home like this, it is always best when you are actually under contract to contact the utility company and you just say, hey, I'm purchasing a home at 123 Main Street. Could you actually tell me what the utility bills are going to be? Now, they can't tell you what it is a, a month. But they can tell you what it is a year, you just divide that by 12, you have a general idea. Also, keep in mind, some families may use more electricity than other families. Oh, you definitely need a window cleaner, cleaner here. I love this right here for the master. Open this up. Look at this. Isn't that a spectacular view? Look at that. I'm Tony Montana. I like the ones in front here. Uh, I don't want to say better, but yeah, I do like the ones in the front. This is a pretty large room. So we have two closets. One for hers. Turn this thing around here. And the second one for hers. Look at this. Love this window here. It's very important when you start building homes like this over a million that there's certain fixtures, there's certain things that you do and you don't cut costs. So that way it retains its value. Because what people look at at a home like this 
These are custom homes. So it's called vision value, okay? People that buy this home has the eye. Like this, I would have put LED lights underneath. I would have not put these standard uh, windows, I mean these mirrors. So it's all case by case basis. However, I do love this builder though. It's just my, you know, type of style home. But again, these are just my opinions. My opinions don't matter. What matters is what you guys like or whoever's buying the home. And look at this. And if I had kids, kids would be running across here, playing tag. All right, let's go out this way. Nice little balcony. Again, I mean, take it all in. I mean, look at this view, right? Isn't that gorgeous? It's no better than that. Ah, you know what? Let's let's go down this way. Uh oh. I think this alone is a little bit more than ten thousand dollars for this spiral staircase. If you guys have not subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Please tell all your friends and family. Please help support this channel. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. By the time this video is released, we should probably have about 83,000 uh, subscribers. And that is because of each and every one of you guys. And I tell this to you guys all the time about how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys motivate me to come out and do these videos for you. Thank you so much guys, I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.